day for many Denver food fans. Mm -hmm. The iconic Cherry Cricket is reopening this morning. So a fire, you might remember, closed it down in November. But now they're ready to fire up the grill again. Ernie Bjorkman back on Daybreak this morning, and he has this unique to Colorado story for us. You know, it's kind of equivalent to winning the NCAA. Yeah. You know, <laughs> I'm a it's, cricket a, burger. it's a Cherry Creek institution that still stands amidst the glitter of all the new shiny restaurants opening in the area. The cricket, as it's fondly called, has been around since the 50s, and no one should be surprised to find it looking the same as it did before the fire. It was one of the busiest times of the year, the day before Thanksgiving. 7 o'clock that night, a small fire breaks out in the kitchen. We had something like 300 people in here. We were on a way packed to the absolute gills. To say the least, the mood was somber for the owners and the employees. There was so much water damage, it forced the cricket to close for four months. But it's back, looking the same as it did for the last 40 years. We didn't let a restaurant designer cross the threshold of the door. <laughs> You know, no ferns, right. no... Uh, no ferns, no perfect lighting, no perfect acoustics. However, everything is new behind the scenes. Everything is state-of-the-art, the best possible stuff we could get. Then we put all the skin back on, basically, on the cricket. So it looks like the cricket, but it's got the body of a... 18 year old on the inside now. And it was great to hear that the owners had put their money where their mouths are. All 84 employees were paid for the last four months, tips and all. They're really what makes the cricket what it is. And so it was a smart decision on our part to pay them through the time. The cricket is famous for one simple thing. The famous cherry cricket hamburger that I've missed so much since I've been gone. And of course the fish tanks are also famous and they're back although three of the original residents died during the fire. Principal ones are the big ones over here that but we've had forever. They're the originals. And then, yeah, and then we have some new guys that we picked up. Uh, this morning at 11 o'clock, they'll have the official ribbon cutting, and then the cricket is open for business. And guys, on a more serious note, you know, they lost those three fish yeah. in the fire. Yeah. They're going to have a memorial on Thursday for those oh. fish. But they say it's all right to order the fish and chips in their <laughs> honor. You know, he said it was a smart thing to keep everyone paid, but it, yeah. was, it was also an expensive Absolutely. thing and a thing that really worked out for, for them, the image, for the community. It's a pretty good deal, it but is. not an easy one. And the 84 workers who got paid for four months, they went out and did some charity stuff. That's they worked amazing. for um, uh, Habitat for Humanity, yeah. Wheels on Wheels, things like that. So they, for them. Yeah, it's a win-win situation. Yeah. So good for Lee Driscoll and the folks down there at the Cherry Creek. Yeah, I can't I wait to visit them again. Might be a few people over there today. I think so. Love <laughs> Reservations, please. <laughs> Still ahead this morning, they're not your mother's Easter basket.